All right, we in here now. Get my drink. You got your drink? Okay. Yeah. Why else on the floor? I don't know. <laughs> much better. Much better. Anyway, gotta do. You know I gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire here. Back at it again with another video. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm here with my longtime friend Michael. So what, what me and Michael are here to talk about is we're actually here to talk about IndieTorchStudios.net. So IndieTorch Studios is um, as it's becoming to grow into now, it's becoming to grow into a production company that's going to basically create uh, films, TV shows, and stuff like that based around anime, comics, and gaming. So this concept has been part of the entire, uh, entirety of what I've been working on for many, many years. I think it's been like 10 years now. So, Something like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been a long time. So now it's getting to a point where uh, I stopped for a while. I opened Nerd Torch Cafe. Boom, Nerd Torch Cafe. Uh, just so y'all who are watching the video part of this and not just listening to the audio, because I'm about to put this on like Spotify and all that jazz. This pro I don't know where it's going with this, but it's gonna be somewhere <laughs> as a podcast. Anyway, all right. Uh, I started this gaming cafe called Nerd Torch Cafe. It's a gaming cafe for people who love anime, comics, gaming, nerdy stuff, conventions, cosplay, blah blah blah. Sounds like a cool place. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's currently where we are. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> so, anywho, um, Michael, uh, lately, uh, this part of the, I would like to say, this part of the content that you guys are watching now or listening to is me wanting to document my journey and becoming an entrepreneur, uh, doing production work and things like that. So, this is actually Michael. <laughs> So this is our first episode. Uh, I have no title for this whatsoever. So, but uh, maybe I'll just call it Document the Journey. So this is the first episode of Document the Journey. Um, unfortunately, uh, since I've been doing this for so long, um, I, I feel regret that I didn't document as well as I would like to have had done. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually going back with the people I used to hang with, create with, and make stuff with. And... Michael's the first one. Like I'm actually, this is like kind of like a chronological order thing. Now. Yeah. So, so you're the first one. You 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 are a Turbo Cool Blade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Michael, um, I didn't give you any prep time for this. So you did not. This is what the fun part about it is. From get robotic to now. <laughs> I was actually about to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Since since we didn't get to document the journey, we're gonna just talk about the journey. Okay. So we're gonna talk about where we were when we started, and just kind of like where we Club are. Club reserve. Uh -huh. Yep. Club reserve. <laughs> <laughs> where we were and where we are now. So tell me how, or tell the people rather, because I know the answer. <laughs> is. How would you have said that you met me? Um. I was in the computer lab of my apartment complex, just it, chilling, doing my the, own thing. It was thing. the reserve. At the, the reserve. Time. Yes, yes. I don't know what it is now. Uh, it's changed hands so many times. Eagles Reserve, and then it's the Beacon now. Yeah. Okay, it's the Beacon now. You know, shout out to them, man. Well, shout out to Reserve. You know, that was cool. Anyway, go ahead. And um, this guy comes in, gives me um, this CD for this uh, this rap song, this um, with the <laughs> with a cool dance uh, and I'm just like <laughs> I didn't know what to do I didn't know what this was played it you know it sounded pretty cool it's called Get Robotic I where, 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 can they, where can they find that I don't know if that's still a lot that, that was, <laughs> man Get Robotic was um there's a video somewhere there is a video somewhere link in the description I may link it I may not <laughs> But like, okay, so Titus started it, started Get Robotic. Mm -hmm. So Titus, so let, let's do some backstory about how Get Robotic started. So 
At one at the time, this is crazy. I don't think you you didn't know about this. At, at the time before you got that CD, um, my girlfriend broke up with me. Mm. Yeah, so I was I was big sad. I was I was I was feeling it, you know. So during that time, um, to get out of being sad, I decided to try to find something to occupy my time with. So Titus was a rapper, mm -hmm. but he was not like good at promotion, and he didn't know what he was doing when it came to that aspect. Okay. He's actually very bad at marketing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a skill that he developed over time. But uh, I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can help market this for you. So I came up with the strategy uh, of. This is before the CD got to you. I came up with a strategy of going on one of those webcam roulettes. It was like kind of like, it's kind of like chat roulette was the, was one that's really popular right now. But ours was called Stickham. Stickham.com got sold to I think Blog TV, and I think they're still going now as Blog. No, Blog TV got sold to something else. I think anyway, it's called Stickham.com. And what ended up happening was um, the Get Robotic. We were we would promote that. And what's crazy, I don't know why this random webcam chat website had, uh, they had rappers on there, like other rappers. So mm -hmm. we would like battle rap people through live webcam chat. I kind of remember like seeing that a little bit. <laughs> so we was like battle rapping randos, like oh, there's a random webcam chat. It's like, hey, yo, mm -hmm. man, you got you got bars? <laughs> like it just pop up, like yo, you got bars? It was like, yeah, man, I got bars. Like drop a beat. All right, I'm gonna drop this beat and you rap to it. And then like they'll play a beat from their end or send you a link to it. And you mm -hmm. had to rap on your end. It was like, hey, man, that was dope, man. Follow me on YouTube. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so it sounds crazy, but interestingly enough, we got 36,000 views in like two days. Like, it was okay. crazy. Like, we ended up on the radio in Canada and Texas. Like, like news stations covered the video. It was, it was I don't think wild. I knew this. Yeah, okay. like, this is before you. <laughs> and so by the time you got a mixtape in your hand, uh -huh. we had already popped off. Like, we was... <laughs> We was on it. I was late. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you was late. So anyway. Episode one, I was late. All right. <laughs> so anyway, so that was the, that was when I met you. You know, we gave you Get Robotic. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then what happened? And, and I, was, I was really feeling it, man. This is like, he's going to be the next big thing. Yeah. yeah so, know you know, I wanted to get on. I wanted to be the hanger on, the hype man, <laughs> to, to the... To Nitro Hot Fire, so I became Turbo Cool Blaze. That did we did I said no, you couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. And it was crazy was, how about how about literally like what what is it? I wanna say ten years later I had somebody here was like, I'm gonna call myself Hydro Cool Water and I was like, Man, get out of here <laughs> yes. Hydro Cool Water and now we have a Google we have a Google review on Nerd Torch Cafe from Hydro Cold. I think it's Hydro Cold Water. <laughs> and right now it says, I saw Ed Sheer in there once. Because <laughs> we got a dude here that looks like Ed Sheer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that happened. So after that, um, Nerd Torch Cafe. Come for the gaming. Say Fred Sheeran. Thinking out loud. Anyway. All right. <laughs> So, after that, I don't even remember. I guess we kind of just saw each other a lot around the apartment complex. Yeah. And then from there, um, I think you caught me doing my videos. Cause I joined Fiverr.com. I think mm -hmm. you caught me doing my videos there. And then um, we was hanging out in the computer lab late at night all yeah. the time. Like It was like hella late at night. So... For those of you who don't go to apartment complexes in College Town, <laughs> they have computer labs. And so they're, just, they're basically labs with just PCs up there for you to do your homework. They got printing and stuff. They got hot chocolate mm -hmm. and stuff. So, like, this is a very common thing around where what we have. And then they have College like, Towns, yeah. Yeah, so we hung out there. And I, you know what's crazy? It's essentially what Dirt Torch was. <laughs> 
because bro, we had so many cool times in that little computer lab. Yeah, with just random people coming in and just hanging out with us and stuff, watching videos, playing games. Like at one point, we plugged us on Xboxes to the big screen in there. We, yes, so we, we did. Play like Halo. No, we played zombies. Zombies. Black yes. Ops Two yes. zombies. We had random people join in who who's just coming to the computer lab late at night. It was crazy. And we kind of you know had a a bit of a group, bit of a family. Exactly. Just just like now, you know. Yeah. So, I I don't remember how you ended up being my intern, but I was like, I need somebody. I need an extra pair of hands to help out with videos and stuff like that. And you thought a turbo cool blaze. I just asked you because you was around. <laughs> like, and you, it didn't look like you had much going on. <laughs> You didn't see potential. You were just like, I was like, "Hey, you're here." He can breathe. Okay, <laughs> he can breathe. No, I'm not leaving. <laughs> nah. <laughs> so, what did you think when when you first, I guess, decided to to join? I guess you was the first member of my team, you know, as being my video guy and editor and stuff. How did you feel about that? I mean, at first, I really didn't know what I was doing, but you know. <laughs> I mean, had a great teacher. <laughs> so, so Michael was working on the fiber stuff, and then I was working on the YouTube stuff. Fiber stuff is how we brought in money. YouTube is how I just made music. Didn't bring no money in. <laughs> a lot of dime. Like I was saying, I was like, "What the heck?" Then meanwhile, Titus. I thought you were the marketing guy. <laughs> I know. I was like, I was easily able to get. Titus stuff. No, I know what I did wrong now looking back. I have a habit of taking the hard lane. Just <laughs> because I guess the cuz I could have did I could have did the stick cam thing. I could have basically just rinsed and repeated what I did last time and probably would have did a lot better. But I think the issue was I was pumping out too much content. I was pumping out too much content and not leaving enough room to breathe when it came to what I was currently doing. So what I mean by that is I wasn't I didn't really have time to market anything. I just made it and put it out and then moved on to the next thing. I didn't market it at all. So I mean it's, that was rough. <laughs> well as far as YouTube goes, has that changed? Cause I feel like people are like trying to put out more content. Um, back in the day, it was like a numbers game of how much you can put out, especially especially when you're doing music. And I didn't want to do cover songs. Like I did some here and there. Actually, I did quite a few. But like, links in the description. <laughs> Six but, foot, seven foot. Um, yeah, lazy that, song. Bro, that popped off. Six foot, seven foot. <laughs> Cause like. It got caught up by her the band named Carmen at the time, but you know they changed their name now because mm -hmm. she was the chick with the little bob and the hair, and then she got popular for being a white girl rapping fast. Yeah. That was like the title of that video. So she shared my video, and that's what kind of popped that off like right away. And I was like, hey, this is lit. I'm about to keep it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Then then the algorithm changed shortly after that. So you couldn't do reply videos, cause that's how I did it at first. I did a reply video to her video, and then she mm -hmm. posted it under her video. So when her video went viral, my video went viral with it. So it was like side by side. And then I guess from there, for some reason, other people replied to it too, cause they saw that <laughs> I did the reply. And so she start, cause she can accept the replies. Mm -hmm. And so there was like, it used to be like a video and then it had replies and then you had a list of replies and so as more people replied mine got pushed down the list and so yeah. my virality went away <laughs> so that that sucked but I don't know after that I just kept pumping out content um, I guess that's a different thing now that I need to do is take a step back I guess the way I would move forward differently now would be to market more. Like, make stuff, market it more, put it out there, and, like, you know, go with it like that instead of keep pumping out content so fast. Mm -hmm. 
<sighs> hard lessons, man. Hard lessons. Anyway, so you was there through like the ups, the downs, the good, the bad. Like, I guess like that was not the ups were fun. Um, the bad, the downs didn't last too long. I would say. How did you feel through the roller coaster ride <laughs> there was? <laughs> And, and what made you stick around? Like, because <laughs> you was like editing all the videos, I was just juggling all this stuff, and, and here you go, like you still here. So, I mean, well, I was getting paid for it. That was that was nice. <laughs> you got paid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you got paid sometimes. <laughs> don't, don't lie to these folks. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did my best, man, with what I had, you know. But I was like, hey, man, we ain't got it right now. <laughs> but I tried to I give you a little something, something here and there. But like, for the most part, like things were tight. <laughs> they, 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 they were tight, man. <laughs> what were the the five or? I remember the old Spice guy. There was yep, the, the, the old preacher. Spice. I did the, the ghetto preacher. I did the singing shower man. I did the toy soldiers. I did the ninja one was the one that was yes, popping. Yes. The most. And that's that's why I needed an intern because I was out there tired. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, like I was out there in a full on ninja outfit, swinging a sword, flipping around and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I would come up to the camera and say whatever message they wanted me to say. And after that, I was like, all right, one video down, <laughs> ten more to go. <laughs> I was like, bro, I can't deal, bro. <laughs> so, you, then that's why I was like, all right, I need an extra person. And that's what kind of like brought you along. And then I started, I, the ninja stuff slowed down, so I started adding in more stuff, you know. And so that's kind of like what helped me out, you know. But, um, Michael was in the editing game, man. He was in there pumping them out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, as an intern, interns are supposed to learn things. That that's kind of like the purpose. Did you feel like you learned anything from being, I guess, the cameraman and editor for the projects? Um, hmm. I mean, I didn't know how to do any of that stuff before, guys. So I'm starting at zero, <laughs> so I learned something. Okay, yeah, yeah. You start from nothing. <laughs> Um, definitely learned how to, how to edit videos, how to, all of the sh little shortcuts. We did, we did a, um, music video for, um, I don't remember who they were at this point. Oh, but you gave me that, that project to work on by myself. Who were they? No idea. But anyway. <laughs> I remember they changed, they changed it after the fact. And that made me mad. <laughs> Bro, that made, I remember I was mad too, because I was like, yo. That made it worse. It did. I remember <laughs> it got worse. I, rem, I, bro, I, I feel like I was, obs I don't know who it was, and I feel like I kind of know who it was, but I don't want to say no names because it might be wrong. But it might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but they might be on the show later. I don't know. <laughs> But nah, nah, they, they're not going to be able to show. This show, at least right now, is going to be reserved for the original people who was on the track. <laughs> That's what we used to call ourselves back in the day. It was mm -hmm. on the track entertainment. And then that got moved to, at one at one point, it was going to be Blazing Rain. You remember that? <laughs> I don't remember Blazing Rain. Blazing Rain, man. I remember. I probably still had those graphics made for the website and everything. <laughs> and then, um... Indie Torch kind of came along out of nowhere. I don't even remember how I even came up with the name other than that I wanted it to make something that represented the, the fire of creativity. The Torch. The Indie Torch. And then I made this mofo. <laughs> and that started out as what, a high school project or something, right? No, no, no. That was, that was, that was, uh, that was, you talking about the album cover for my, my, my first album. Ah, ah, yes. Uh, Segway. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I did the album. I was, cause I wanted, to, I got tired of cover songs. I wanted to do something original. I did the album. 
But there was so much stuff I wanted to do and just didn't know how to do it. And you was kind of there on the ground level. And then, like, when momentum picked up, there was a point in time where you just couldn't be on the ground level anymore. You got out of school. You had to get a job. And I had to keep pushing it, you know. I had to keep trekking along. And now, you still got a job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still pushing it. I'm still trekking along. I still got stuff happening. Trying to be around when I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I actually recently tried to pull you back in before COVID. Remember? So for <laughs> you oh, we're talking about that now. <laughs> Hey, we talking about everything. <laughs> I tried. Because, like, back when I started, when I restarted doing production stuff, uh, I was like, all right, I want to I wanna work with clients. I want to do commercials and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I want to do, like, stuff that other people never did before. And so, from there, I want to make, I want to make, like, cool commercials with storylines and plots. But, um, Michael here... When he signed on to be the intern, he was saying like, "Oh, I want to do commercials for Frito Lay." I remember you wanted to get on their marketing department, <laughs> and I was like, "Bro, just fill out an application and send it in." Did you ever do that? By the way, <laughs> I I pointed you to where the application was. Put it on the website. I feel like, yeah, I kind of feel like you did do that. I did do that. And I filled out the application and sent it in. Did you fill out the application? At Why all? did you fill out the application? Because I wanted to show you that you could too. <laughs> that, wasn't your, that wasn't your dream. That's true. That's true. And I recently found out that people get offended when you do that. <laughs> you be like, hey man, it's your dream. Here it is. Take it. And if they're not ready, you be like, I can do it. You can. And then they be like, ah, oh, this motherfucker right here. <laughs> He tried to steal my dreams. <laughs> yeah, people get upset. <laughs> Learn it our way. <laughs> I had a few arguments. <laughs> they got emotional. <laughs> but um, so anywho, you want that's what you wanted. Mhm. Mm I wanted to make a Super Bowl commercial. Uh huh. And so I gave you the opportunity to do something for a coffee shop. You did. What happened with that? And I had a vision. <laughs> I somewhat executed that vision. <laughs> and then I got told that my vision was, was not a good idea. <laughs> you didn't give us anything. <laughs> I, I, I gave you notes. And I was like, all right, let's see what you come up with off of this. And after that, you didn't have anything to give. I mean, I had an idea. Uh huh. You did. And you know, it it was an outline. Mm hmm. It was a video outline yeah, of, of what right. of what I was for what I wanted to do. Okay. And okay. then you wanted me to tell a story. I did. I wanted you to tell a story. Yes. So then we did the interview. Mm hmm. And and I was gonna put. We never actually filmed, like, the stuff that I wanted to do. Because <clears throat> you disappeared, Mike. <laughs> At least that's, that's what I feel like happened. But you tell me what, you, what, you, <laughs> what happened on your side. I disappeared? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> like I said, you just say what, how you feel on your side. Like, what happened? Can't keep it too I, quiet I feel now. like you. I feel like you took it. I took it. Yeah, after you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you did. You didn't like that idea, and I didn't know where to go after that. And then you took it. I feel. I feel yeah. like that's what it was. Because I wanted you to come up with three ideas. You only had one. Mm -hmm. You was just like a, a one and done, mofo. <laughs> like you gotta come up with like a variety so we can like have something to go off of. You can't just like pop off with the first thing that pops in your head, you know. That's what Yeah. It, See that's what we used to do. We did. And we were bad. <laughs> <laughs> we were we See, were that's bad. not how I remember it. <laughs> those those were those were good times, man. They were fun. But we were bad. 
feel? <laughs> fun times. We had, we had a lot of fun. We was like, all right, at best. Like, I will say, we were all right, at best. The roommate series? That was good. We, di we didn't even shoot that. We just had an idea for that. The pregnancy test? <laughs> <laughs> we shot part of that. I remember that. <laughs> But uh, we 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 did not execute that well at all. I think I think our execution. We ran into people problems and schedule problems and people not showing up. We ran into a lot of that. You tried to pay people, they still wouldn't show up. Bruh, oh my God, bro! Like <laughs> you can't even pay people no to show up. Bro, that was an actual issue. Like, all right, everybody get it. Like, that's after I made some money. So I'm like, all right, I got some money now. Cause I get to throw some money around towards my production. Mm -hmm. You know, get people involved with some cash flow. Like, all right, everybody, we're doing a shoot Saturday. Everybody getting paid $100. That was the movie, right? Yes. That was the Kung Fu movie. Like, we had one person show up and then nobody else. And it was like, dang. And that was after I quit filming for a while. And was gonna come back because I went to focus on making money doing Bitcoin and stuff. Made some money. I was like, all right. So now I got some money to play with. No, but I'm gonna hop back into like doing videos and stuff. What year was this? I don't remember what year it was. Dang. I know Bitcoin was at. I wanna say a thousand. Somewhere around that time, it was at a thousand, two thousand dollars. Somewhere like that. And it went from thirteen dollars to somewhere around no, I think it went from I know we, we first started it was like thirteen I remember it was thirteen ninety five when I first got involved. And then from there, I think around the time where I wanted to get back into doing movies and stuff, it was somewhere around getting close to a thousand or so. When did I get in? I don't even remember. Was it that low when I got in? Maybe, like, we could, mm, I could backtrack and figure it out. Right now, I can't sit around thinking okay. because we, we need, we can record. <laughs> but anyway, so, yeah, that, that's that's when we couldn't get people to even show up, even if we paid. So that was, that was rough. But now, we're getting to a point where, uh, I'm getting back into filming now, and a lot of those issues are solved now. Issues of people not showing up. I have Nerd Source Cafe. People are already here, like every day. <laughs> so it's like that's, that shouldn't be an issue with that. Like, mm -hmm. so we, sh we there's also the issue of uh, money. Um, I have more money than I had then. I own a business now, mm -hmm. so that generates money, so I can put money into film and stuff. And then. Got more knowledge about about filming. Yes, I actually worked on film sets. And That's probably actually, the biggest thing. That is the biggest thing because, like, not knowing what you're doing. I guess at the time, I I would say I jumped into trying to do a full feature film too early because I tried to do Net Nation. I remember that. Mm -hmm. I still had a script for that, and I still plan on doing it. But <laughs> but like, there's a trailer. There is a trailer. Uh, Which I feel like you're not supposed to film till after. Possibly. We're not supposed to edit till after. But okay. the trailer, no, I, I turned it into a mini, a web series instead. Uh, this is a, very important <laughs> for filmmakers out there everywhere. <laughs> do not, I repeat, <laughs> do not. Possibly. Make web series. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make that mess, bro. Cause that is time, mm. like time writing, mm. like filming, mm. editing, like bro, web series or a series of any kind when you are starting out. Because I did comic book too, so series of any kind. Do not do that bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, don't do it. Like, do one shots. Like, if you want to make a, if you want to make a, a TV show or a, movie, or a TV show, make a movie instead. If you can make a movie, leave it open ended, 
and then you can come up with a, a sequel. Okay, like I was saying, don't start a series. Create the next one division. Um, don't do that. <laughs> Because series take too much time, too much commitment. It's like, alright, we're going to shoot this episode. Like, I will say this. If you are going to shoot a series, first off, like I said, I don't take this back. Don't do it. Just don't do it at all. But if you must, shoot the whole thing before you put anything out. <clears throat> I will say that. Because that's not what we did. And then people was like, what happened to the rest? You know, blah, blah, blah. Because nothing to show for it when people like drop off, quit not show up ghost us like the list goes on and on of why things didn't go well but like series are terrible that's just terrible unless you have a core group it, it, it exactly but even then somebody can drop off like and then you have to like rewrite stuff and like figure out why they're not in the next episode when it was in the last episode blah 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 just, just avoid it all together, bro. Just make one movie and like do a, do a sequel, do a trilogy, keep it going. Like series take a lot of work. Like they take way more work than movies. Seriously. Sure. Anywho, <laughs> so now we don't went off on this whole tangent. So we were talking about originally, just like. What I guess that's kind of like what slowed us down in the creation of everything. We just, we just got a lot of bull crap, bro. Like that kind of like took us off, you know. But now, like I said, now things are better. A lot of the issues are solved. The stress was an issue too, cause now you're stressed because you want to do big things. You can't do big things because you don't got money. So now you like pumping in work over and over and over, and like you're not really getting the result you want out of it, which is cash flow. Like so. That's that's really why cash flow and finished projects. Yeah, exactly. Because because there were a lot of things that were not finished. Exactly. Never got off the ground. And they were too big. They were too big. But now, but I didn't realize that at the time. Animated series. Like, yeah, that that was the thing too. That's why I was like, I can't have actors. They won't show up. I'll just have them. <laughs> just animate me some motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was, I was just, cause I was, like I guess I made some money in Bitcoin and stuff. So I was like, I'ma just make, i was just make people like. So I just hired one artist to draw everything or animate everything. All right. And then these mofos don't show up. <laughs> oh my God, bro! I like, bro, I spent so much money. And they just take your money and run and be like, oh, I caught depression. I can't work on your project no more. And I'm like, well, do I get my money back? Hey, man, I, you know. I mean, I'm already depressed. You can't take my money, too. <laughs> so, so I just get so bad. So I'm up here sitting here like, bro, like, this this sucks. So, like, now I can't pay people. I can't even pay no artists. But anyway, so, but now a lot of issues are being fixed. A lot of issues have been fixed now. What would you say, though, was our biggest issue back in the day? Um, hmm. Biggest issue, I'd say. Well, I mean, you had the, you were the always the guy with the with the dream, with the vision, with the plan. People really didn't follow through. I feel like that was like. I feel like you would be in a different place now if if people had followed through. I can see that. Um, but I, I mean, if, as other people, you can't really. Yeah, I was young and naive <clears throat> though. I was like, cause folks would hype you up. It's like, yeah, man, it's a good idea. You know what? Let's do this every day. I'm gonna show up <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> They'd be like, where you at though? Like, we we here. <laughs> I mean, that seemed like a good idea yesterday, but today is today. Yeah, and yeah. I want to. I want to take a nap. And that's that kind of. I guess that kind of like. I've become more mature now. I can now. I feel like I can kind of see in people. It's like, if, are they gonna show up? And sometimes I can look. I, I can look a mofo in their soul and be like, they ain't coming tomorrow. But they ain't gonna show up. <laughs> like they're like, yeah, I'll be there, man. It's, it'll be great. I'll be there. And I'm like, you ain't coming. <laughs> like, yeah, no, you you ain't coming. <laughs> so. 
What else you got for me though? What what, what else you think might have been the struggle for us? Um, I don't know, but you did you did like develop some skills. I got good. I will say. <laughs> <laughs> you see my demo reel I put out. <laughs> That was fire, bro. Like, <laughs> but my professional quality now. My, my skills jumped, bro. Like, cause uh, we were shooting on handy cam back then, though. And um, handy cam, I will say, is okay. Um, if they made a handy cam now, which they technically they they kind of call they call cinema cameras now. They make <laughs> cinema cameras, so. I didn't know what I needed to get the quality I wanted, but I definitely did good with what I had. I will say that we made it look good as long as it was daytime. Everything in nighttime kind of look. <laughs> yeah, look bad. The reserve commercial. Ooh, yes, that was a uh, that was pretty bad. Still got paid. It was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Only charged like ten dollars. <laughs> Only ten dollars. Hey man, I done messed around. They found out I was doing Fiverr, and it was like, we want to hire you to do a little thing for us then on there and so that's why i only got paid to know so like, ah, okay so whatever but we went above it i liked it though i liked mm -hmm. it I, that was a good video like i don't care like it was, it was it, quality was not what it was but like everything like, was there you know like the it, content the, the ideas mm -hmm. execution we didn't have a skill for it at the time but like now i um, went out gained some of that skill now and everything looks good. Everything looks so good. But sometimes I watch my old stuff and like, damn. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I be sitting there. Like, we got a big screen over here in the movie room. Got a movie mm -hmm. room now. <laughs> and I, I'll sit there. Little Torch Cafe, movie room. I pop on my demo reel every now and then, put it on the big screen. <laughs> and I be like, damn, so that. This look good. It's not I, narcissistic at all. I was like, I'd hire me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'd hire the hell out of me. <laughs> that look good. So yeah, you I wouldn't hire you. You could do better. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could, I could still do better than demo reel I put out. I could, like, even now, like, I'm just gaining skills so fast. But like, the money I got. As the money I got in comparison to the skill I got is not leveling out right now, and mm -hmm. so I'm having to, I'm having to learn different aspects of things like lighting, for example. Like I know that I got this big huge shadow on this wall right here. I know that I need another light over there. <laughs> I know this. I have mm -hmm. the skill to know this. I don't have the money to go buy <laughs> go buy a light and put it over there. So, you know, it, but it is part of the journey. And, you know, one day I'm going to be doing an interview like this or doing some type of video. And there's going to be a light over there. There's going to be a light over there. And then I'm gonna, it might be you sitting here again. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, remember that time we didn't have a light over there? Good times, man. Good yeah. times. Good yeah, time. light right there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but so there's now. There's not a light there. So, like, that reaction was, yeah. You know what? Yeah. So now you see what I've done. Nerd Torch Cafe. You kind of been off. You've been on the. I ain't gonna say you've been off the team. Wow. I ain't gonna say you've been off the team. You've been on the bench. <laughs> okay. You, you've been on the bench for a while. You know, so you, you start to see my demo reel looking like so a lot of unfamiliar faces in there, you know. A lot, yeah. a lot of people that you that we didn't start out with, you know. Yeah. But how you feeling about that? I'm happy that the team is growing. Yeah, we we up to like I want to say what ten people, twelve now. Those are people who are gonna be regularly making content too, like making stuff, making stuff for a while. Like we're gonna be shooting tomorrow. Like I'm trying to shoot something like every day at this point. But um, from where we started off the bumpy road and where we are now. How do you think the journey has been for you, from your perspective? Um, 
the journey so I mean so far. You know, I've got I've got a great friend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We've had some you know great times together and whatnot. Stories I can tell my grandchildren and whatnot. You know, if I get some children first. Yeah. If I get wife. Well, get a woman first. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta need those. So so if you're out there. I mean, you can adopt. I could. No we weird, weird to adopt when you're single, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Possibly. I don't know. I mean, they want to make sure you got a, like, stable household to put them in and whatnot, you know? Two family households are, are, are the staple of America. Well, not two family households. <laughs> Like, I don't two parent households. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you know, recession happening, we might have to have two family households. <laughs> Cause I'm struggling now. Shoot, COVID hit me. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, got a good friend. That's, yeah. that's, that's me. You know, I, you're a good friend too. Adventures, skills, um. So many more. <laughs> <laughs> you have any regrets though? Any regrets? Not really. Well, that's good. Yeah. What do you think would have happened if you never joined the team? If I had never joined the team. I don't, I would have had some more free time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you never joined the team, where could you think, where would, what do you, where do you think you'd be at now? Do you think things would be different? Do you think, like, your life would be at a different place? Like, hmm. Maybe I'd be married with some kids. What? Um, <laughs> the team permitted you to get married? <laughs> and I don't have any regrets. <laughs> I don't know. Butterfly effect, man. Butterfly effect? <laughs> I guess. Sometimes I sit back and think, like, where would I be if I didn't do what I'm doing now? If you hadn't met me. <laughs> that's that's not generally how I think about it. <laughs> More so, I think about like what would I like? Literally, what would I do now? You would laugh less. That was, uh, uh, yeah. Actually, yes, yes, I do. Cause I do laugh less now that you're not around as often. I got to deal with these folks over here. <laughs> I got the dad bod, the dad jokes, just, just not the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have kids. <laughs> but, I don't know. Like, I don't think I, I don't think I would be, have been able to accomplish as much if I didn't meet you. I will say that. And that's because the five or days, having somebody to Hold the camera. Having somebody to not just hold the camera, edit the videos. While I, cause see, a lot of people take for granted having the ability to learn. Like when you're young, I think I was what, 18, 19, 20, somewhere around there, 19, 20, I think when we first met, you know, I was still learning. And the thing about that is that you need time to learn and not, you don't just need time to learn. You need time to figure out how you learn. And then you need time to learn how you learn, you know. So you got to actually put the, you got to learn the process and then put the process into into motion. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, having the ability to do that kind of put me in a position where I am now. And like, basically, if you weren't there... And I would be basically turning the rat wheel on uh, Fiverr and 
not knowing where the next escape out of that would have been. So you took a lot of that pressure, a lot of that work off of me so that I can figure out what's the next move to go to progress to the next level. So, yeah. And then, you know, some, some ideas. You got lots of ideas, man. You got lots of ideas. But I can afford you. I'm taking you back. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got bills to pay and stuff now. But, <laughs> but once I get a budget, that's the goal right now. The goal is to... SC? Still is not a thing yet. SC? Wait, what, what's that? The SC. Coyote? The, oh, that is a thing, actually. That's a thing that's about to start. Right okay. <laughs> you, okay. You were there for that. <laughs> you were there for that idea. Yes. That, that idea is an old one, too. Yes. We're about to actually start that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sneak peek. All right. <laughs> so, that's one thing I will say. I'm very organized with my ideas. Because I have a cloud on Evernote. Evernote.com. If we would hang out and you would like write down stuff. That I said. I have every I have everything to this day. Oh my gosh. Yep. I have everything to this day. I have every idea we've ever come up with to this very day. <laughs> what about that idea from possibly last time I was here? Oh, the Sherlock Holmes? Yeah. Yep, that's in motion. Like I got <laughs> That's why I told you, because yeah. I wasn't gonna do anything with it. <laughs> I am on it every time. I got I got my main actors and everything. Cast it, ready to roll. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm telling you, man, like Oh my gosh, when they see it. Yep, it's it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, man, every time and the though, twist. There is a twist. There is a twist. But don't want to give too much away. I think that we're gonna I think now the idea behind you know starting our studio, putting out content. Not a sponsor. <laughs> putting out content putting out content that's for actual sale. That's gonna be the difference in what we've been doing before. Before mm. we're trying to get this YouTube ad money. And like after doing the math on that, YouTube ad money is like every million views you get a thousand dollars. That is not no money to do nothing with. Like we can't we can't make nothing with that. That's why Patreon exists, that's why all these funding stuff exists now. Cause that mm -hmm. YouTube ad money is just it's just pocket change in the grand scheme of things though. Like if you're not making a million views, you ain't making enough to pay the bills or any bills. Mm -hmm. So that's that's not that's not that's not popping. So now I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna make the content and go straight for the dollars. Like I'm gonna make movies, host premieres, sell tickets, sell food, like. Get, do giveaways like make a whole events out of it and make it fun for people you know stuff like that I thought about something what was that if it wasn't for me you wouldn't have your biggest motivation to be successful <laughs> Chris <laughs> Lucy <laughs> yeah I said it today <laughs> Christopher Allen Lucy <laughs> mm-hmm so Chris is Michael Room. <laughs> Michael, how would you explain who 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 Chris is? Um, this is me being petty. <laughs> <laughs> explain who Chris is. Chris is a friend of mine, former roommate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I was in his wedding. You know, great, great guy. I ain't even you know he was in his wedding. Okay, go ahead, keep going. This changes nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> 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 it's okay. It's alright. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he didn't really believe in what was going on. Kind of thought that that this guy was a was a bad influence. Was, was I guess, like, using me for, to edit videos and not really, you know, compensating me fairly. And just, like... He like he wasn't going anywhere with this with this YouTube thing. Like, if he was the um, Chris and I made a video, 
and then you told us what to do with it and he was like no nah. if if you were as good as you think you are then you then you would have done it and you would have been popping uh -huh. but you weren't mm -hmm. so see i ain't know about mm. that part <laughs> oh oh okay um, uh um more motivation all right <laughs> so 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 now so who's chris to you <laughs> chris is my biggest motivation for success <laughs> So after Michael has, it brought all of this to my attention, there was a fire lit inside of me mm. to 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 drive everything that I am towards the finish line of success. In his core. In my core. His inner being. And all so that I can ban Chris from everything that I do. <laughs> my goal in life is to own a lot of stuff. And ban Chris from all of it. <laughs> right now, Chris is banned from the Nerd Torch Cafe. Mm. He's never been here. He never will. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to own some apartment complexes, which Chris will not be allowed to rent. I will own some conventions at some point. Chris will not be allowed to go. I will own movie theaters. <laughs> That Chris will not be allowed to go. I will own movies. Chris will not be allowed to watch. <laughs> he can't even go to an AMC? No. <laughs> if I own it, he can't go. <laughs> and I want to own no. as much stuff in his world as I can <laughs> to make his life mighty inconvenient. <laughs> Does he know this? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> you mean possibly? Did you tell him or not? <laughs> you told him. He, know, he knows specifically about this place. Uh, he knows about this place. Yes. He knows he's bad. He's bad. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he knows about the movies and the apartments. And, <laughs> you know. I'll make his life mighty inconvenient. <laughs> We talked not too long ago, actually. <laughs> Does he still think I'm a bad influence, Michael? You, has, did, you didn't come up in conversation. Has he recanted what he said? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm still going to keep doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if he apologizes, then I might, I might reconsider it. Might. Maybe. You know what? I already consider. <laughs> you can let him know that. If he apologizes, then he can be unbanned <laughs> from, from everything. <laughs> yeah. What city does he live in? I'm going to buy some stuff over there. <laughs> Am I allowed to say this? Oh, I don't want to put this on, on the camera. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> I don't have the wealth to do that anyway right now. <laughs> One day, though. One day. One day. It, I'm not serious, so... I'm not... I know I possibly won't be able to have the ability to buy up stuff from underneath Chris to make his life... You know, I could do it. I should buy his house from underneath him, from his bank, or his apartment, or whoever, and, and become his landlord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to tell you now. So now, so then at that point, I'm like, hey, Chris, got that rent? You know, uh, he said I wouldn't be successful. So, uh, gotta go ahead and pay up. So, I just gotta remind you of this every month on the first. <laughs> what, electronic payment? Nah, we're not setting that up. You gotta come in in person. <laughs> so, I can give you a receipt <laughs> to tell you how. You will still be banned from your house. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah, I would. I would. He's got double rent. He's got to pay on the first on the fifteenth. <laughs> yeah. Where did you do that at? Here. They can pay rent twice a month. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that'd be nice. No, I have to make him pay rent every week. So it'll be the same rate that he paying now. You just have to pay it in increments every week. So then, if he missed a payment, then it, it doubles for the next week. <laughs> and late fees. 
So Miss the, the payment that starts over. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> It'd be super inconvenient. And then when he can come in to make the payment, it has to be like, like very, like between the hours of one and two. <laughs> <laughs> Only up for one hour. You, you better be here. <laughs> but nah, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't do, I would I, uh, I probably wouldn't. I would think about it heavenly. <laughs> I would think about it heavenly. If I come into some money, <laughs> gonna make Chris very life inconvenient to he apologize <laughs> for not believing in me. I don't care that he, he didn't believe in me though, for real. Like, nobody really believed in me. People don't believe in me now. And I just keep on winning. <laughs> Anywho. Turbo always believe. Well, you always believe in me, Martha. <laughs> Like I said, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here where I'm at now. You you was one of the pieces of the puzzle that got me to where I am. So, I appreciate it, man. Oh, just want to see you succeed, man. <laughs> nah, I need you to uh, come off the bench. <laughs> I'm going to have to need you to come off the bench. You got to start showing back up Thursdays or something. Because we need your writing. <laughs> We need your ideas. All right. So you heard it here first. Um, I'm officially coming out of retirement. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go become a content creator again. That's what we're looking for. I'll be the idea guy. <laughs> and an idea, idea guy. There we go. Words. Well, you ain't going to hold the camera no more, man. No more camera work for you. The camera heavier now. The camera's heavier. It's more... <laughs> More complex, more li <laughs> more lenses, more lenses, more aperture, lights, and <laughs> ISO. There's, there's lights, there's cameras, there's there's actions. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more things, man. There's a lot more things. But I think there's everything. Is there anything you want to ask me about from back in the day? Why why you got me here? Hmm. Pronunciate? Why? Why? <laughs> oh, dang, you reach, you reach way back for that way. <laughs> what? How is that on the forefront of your brain? So, for those of you who don't know, that was a line in one of my songs. I don't even remember how I even got to that line. I said something. For those who can't pronounce or pronounce I said it because it rhymed with what I, <laughs> I said the last line. <laughs> I have no regrets. That song was lit. That music video was weird. <laughs> Which one? What song was that? Uh, that was a change. That uh, that Drake parody song. Yes. With with Jordan and I in the background. Yep, doing weird stuff. I got beat up at the end. <laughs> yes, it was great. One take. <laughs> One take. People was like, I'm not sure if this song is meant to be serious or it's supposed to be a parody of funny. <laughs> like the comments and shit. And I was just replying, yes. <laughs> just like, okay, well. People like, I don't know how to feel about this. I made like a serious song and the video was not serious at all. <laughs> I, t I called Jordan up. I was like, hey, come here with your one your onesie. And we just going to shoot a video like on the fly. And we and we did it. It was crazy. And I had an afro. Yeah, I had an afro wig. It was lit. It was dope. But anyway, we want you to come off the bench, Mike. We It's been a, it's been a hell of a, a journey. Mm -hmm. We've done a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. And I think we need to do more. I've been on the journey for this long. I've never had heaven grow up. What? Dang. Well, yeah. I guess I got to have a heaven grow up event now. Dang, that's going to be messy. <laughs> heaven grow up is this food I made that used to, was, was like all carbs and people would like pass out at the end of eating it. <laughs> it was like the best thing ever. It was like ramen noodles, rice, like... Scramble the eggs. There's a, whole there's, there's a video that shows how to make it. Yeah. 
I'm, that's crazy. I'm gonna have to watch the video to remember how to make it. <laughs> I, had to, I had to do a little cut right there, guys. Because uh, the camera only records for X amount of time per frame. Because I don't have a cinema camera. So, mm. told you. Gotta, gotta get one of those next. So, that's on the list. But anyway, uh, Carlos is somewhere. Where is this man's? I don't know. He's just not. We don't like cross paths as much anymore. So, hmm, interesting. Hmm. That's just the way. That's a, just the way life is, man. I saw him the other day. We all hung out at the wing spot um, in Auburn. So we had wings. We hung out. You know, it was a good time. It's always good to see him. Mm -hmm. But I know you haven't seen him in forever. Yeah. <laughs> so one day we gotta do a reunion, man. We gotta do a reunion for the old squad. That's what I really wanna do. Like, I'm doing these videos here to kind of, like, reminisce on what we did and kind of, like, figure out how people felt about the journey of what, like, took place and stuff. And then I want to, at some point, I want to do a meet and greet. I would like to do a meet and greet with the, with the new squad, with the old squad. Because right now, Jordan's still on the team, though. Jordan's still yeah. making stuff with us. You know, he's still making stuff. He's yeah. uh, he's in our movie, <clears throat> Blood Brothers. As a, He's a cop. He's a detective in that movie. He's, uh, um, he's doing... He's the villain, actually, in our next film coming up. Uh, we're doing a Spider-Man fan film next. And as uh, he's a villain, he's playing Craven the Hunter. So... He's working on his Russian accent. That's going to be nice. But even more so, Jordan's actually a voice actor now. Like a, like a straight up voice actor. Like like legit. Like he's in video games. He's in like web series. He's done commercials. He's done audio books. Like I man, he's like in anime. Like our man is out there. <laughs> like, <laughs> like how long has he been doing this? Like he's been doing this like for, like I want to say maybe a year or two, like, like on the low. Didn't even tell your boy. <laughs> like <laughs> he's like, hey man, just let you know I'm in this anime. I'm like, what? He's like yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a voice actor. I'm like when? Like like when did this happen? <laughs> he was like yeah, man, I just popped up. He's like I restarted my Fiverr, decided to do some voice acting stuff on there, just see how it goes. And uh, nah, you know, I just I just did a video game, just did an audio book. Like he's in he's in a series right now. He's in a web series right now. Like where they're talking about comics and stuff. Uh he's playing Spider Man, the Green Goblin, he's playing like like pretty much he's playing like all the male characters on the cast. <laughs> like yeah. There was a game called Trump Stomp, I think it was. Where he played like a cartoony Donald Trump. Like he did a voice for that. Yeah, like Jordan is like legit. Like, eh, he's he's freaking good, too. Like, Jordan is really good. I better hear his Trump sometime, then. He's good. good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like, yeah, man, we got to do, we, we gotta do like, a reunion, you know, with the old squad. That's that's going to be dope. And then y'all can pass the torch to the new squad. You know? mm, mm, mm. Torch. torch <laughs> if you had something to talk, tell people who are coming up, as creatives, like I guess something you learn from the journey of being a creative in the indie tour studios, what would it be? Like if you wanted to like give some advice to somebody. Matter of fact, you got somebody now that you know who <laughs> tried to do music. <laughs> if you had to give advice to any of them, what would it be? Um, I'd say that it's, it's, it's a process. It's, it's not really, th there are very few that will like, just get in and like, go, go viral and, and. Make make something. It's it's a process. That's you like gotta, winning the lottery, going viral. Yeah. Um. 
baby steps, you know, like, like kind of like you've been doing, just like learn your, learn your craft, you know, um, like always be willing to learn, be willing to put in the time. I would say have a plan. Um, most people who try to do this stuff don't have a plan at all. Have a plan for success. Have a plan of action and, and execute. Because, um, like, you might think you can just get out here and freestyle this stuff, but it ain't it. This ain't it for <laughs> freestyling. Ain't it, man? You can you can get away with it for a while as you learn. But like, in order to make an actual high quality stuff, like stuff has to be planned out. Like I'm learning mm -hmm. that now. Like trying to do films and feature films, movies and stuff. Like like another thing is I have to learn how my creative process. I have to relearn how my creative process works. So now I'm getting to a point where I'm like, all right, I have to write the scripts. I have to come up with the film dates. I have to check the weather. I have to, like, if we've got costumes, I have to order those things. I have to order food for the cast. Like, because, like, yeah, the food has to be there. Uh, people got to eat. Yeah, people got to eat. You know me. Like, I forget to eat. So, like, <laughs> bro, I'll be in there working. I'll be like, all right, come on, guys. Go, 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 go. And it's like, can we, can we stop? Hey, food is eat, important. Eat a sandwich or something? <laughs> like, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all do got to eat. All right, yeah, that, that's probably good. And so, like, yeah, schedule, yeah, you have to schedule, 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 and plan. And the main thing I would say is um, work on your craft, but work on your marketing as well. Because, like I said, something that I regret that I didn't do was I kept pumping out content, but I didn't market it. Like I should have back then, because instead of taking time to market it, I would um, make more content. And now I'm starting to see a pattern that I'm actually doing that now. <laughs> and so <laughs> it's actually without having this conversation with you, then I would not have caught myself in this cycle, you know. So. I appreciate you, man. Thank you <laughs> for talking to me. Because like right now, I got like six movies, like right, ideas, ready, like to go. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was just about to start. Like, all right, let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, next. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> all right, next. Boom, boom. Because like I spent so much time lately working on the process of being efficient. So mm -hmm. now I could pop out twelve movies. Like, all right, nah, that's twelve. But like, <laughs> but like the Spider-Man film, like. The plan is we're going to shoot the whole thing in four days. So, like, the plan was we're going to shoot. The trailer is actually being written as a script as well as the movie. So, we're going we're gonna to shoot the scenes in the trailer first. And then I'm going to um, use that to market the film. While we're... In the next three days, we're gonna attempt to shoot the film with the with the way the best way we can now, um, and then I'm going to you because because of scheduling, we're not gonna be able to shoot those three days back right away. So I'm gonna use what we have, um, the scenes that's in the trailer. Uh, those scenes are shot first in full, mm -hmm. and so the movie's not shot in order. So, Friday is dialogue. Saturday. Friday and Saturday is dialogue. Because cause that, that, that sh the trailer stuff will be shot on Saturday. The next few, it's going to be like two weeks in between. We're going to shoot a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday and Saturday is all dialogue. Sunday, all action scenes. Now, I'm worried about this because action scenes are tired. <laughs> yeah. But like we'll see, you know, and this and this will this this will determine, I guess, how tough of a process this is gonna be, um, and filming the whole thing. So hopefully it's not too crazy. Um, you know, hopefully folks ain't too tired, you know. <laughs> but like, Why not spread that out between the other days, between the action stuff. Yeah, because um. The reason why is because I don't want the people to be tired in between doing the dialogue. 
So there's one day where some of some of like the action stuff for the trailer. That that day we'll be mixing stuff in, and that should take the pressure off of the other the other days as well. So like when I say like I'm shooting scenes for the trailer, um, those scenes I'm shooting the entirety, so they're done. I'm just taking the clips out of the full scene and putting it into the trailer where they're supposed to go. But the whole mm -hmm. scene itself will be will be done. And so it's 30, it'll be 36 scenes spread out between four days. Um, and by math, by calculations, was it 36 divided by four? So that'd be nine scenes a day, which technically should take us somewhere around 11, 12 hours to shoot per day for Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, and the best part about that is. Um, the way I started writing stories because we had so many issues of people showing up, mm. everybody does not have to be there all the whole twelve hours. So mm. that's gonna be the best part about that, and that's gonna be because I stopped writing scenes that involve everybody. Like I started writing in a way that it doesn't take too many people to do a scene. So that's kind of like the benefit of that. So I'm really happy about that. I learned mm -hmm. that the hard way because then it's like you can't shoot a scene unless everybody's here, you know? Mm -hmm. And so now that's changed. So now everybody doesn't have to be there. Like only the people who are in this scene have to be there and so on and so forth. So big scenes like that that have large groups of people, um, they are in the film, but they come few and far between. It's like maybe two or three total mm -hmm. out of 36. So... <laughs> So I'm like, bro, if we can't do this shot, like, come on. And you're going to do those in one day when everybody's... Yeah, and those will be done on, like, a Saturday. And, and, and maybe it's, maybe they might bleed over to Sunday, too. So, really good. Um, like, even the action stuff. Like, one of the action scenes has everybody in it. Like, five people. Wait, no. Six people total. That's a lot of people to expect to be somewhere all at the same time, you know. Mm-hmm. Acts of God can happen, you know. <laughs> like, so, I'm happy about you know the way this is this is all turned out to be. But now, my uh, the we're gonna try to do some fundraising. But the reason why I said I'm gonna leave it up to maybe one or two weeks is because my goal is to my goal is to finish regardless if we get the money or not. So that's that's gotta be why I'm gonna keep going, and then we're gonna take a break for marketing. At first, there was really no break for marketing in place, but I still want to keep people actively doing stuff because now it's not just the creation of what we're doing. Now we're also acting. I want to say in Hollywood, but it's really Atlanta. <laughs> now we're acting on actual television shows and actual movie sets and stuff like that. And now we need we need footage for demos. We need footage for like like at stunt reels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that like basically these are our video resumes, kind of like the, the the demo reel I shot for the studio. Yeah, I will have to do a demo reel for each actor that's gonna be in the project. So like that mm -hmm. means taking clips of them talking, taking clips of them doing action stuff and stunts and stuff like that. Basically making a highlight reel for each person. And so that way it can help them get other jobs on other sets as well. Right. And so, which is kind of the reason why we're all doing this. Like We're all interested in acting. We know how to get on actual television shows and movies and stuff like that. Now we're just building a portfolio. But at the same time, we're, we're turning into a business as well. And so, you know, the goal is to bring in money as a, as a production studio and to bring in money by working on other shows and movies and stuff at the same time. And so that's kind of like what we're working with right now. But I'm going to definitely be taking a lot of time for marketing. Um, but the money, the reason why I do plan on uh, shooting stuff to the point where we're not depending on the marketing, is not depending on the marketing, but depending on the fundraising, is because I want to make money from ticket sales and all that stuff anyway from premieres right so the fundraising is not our biggest goal 
It's not like, and I definitely don't want to do a fundraiser where like, alright, well, we didn't get the money, so now we ain't shooting nothing. So now that takes away from everybody's resume, everybody's demo reel, everybody's mm -hmm. IMDB page, because now, you know, I'm crediting, I, I'm doing IMDB credit. So like, yeah. <laughs> so all my actors get IMDB credit that says that, hey, we was in this movie. This, this is an official thing. We get actors points and stuff like that. That helps with us get other jobs and, and, and does different things like that, too. So... You know, this is not just what it used to be anymore. <laughs> yeah. This is a well-oiled machine, you know. And so from there, it turns into uh, the cafe builds the r rapport for people. Because the people who come here are the people who are going to be our customers for the movies and stuff. And not mm -hmm. just that, you know, had to get better at marketing. Local, doing local marketing. Local marketing is so different from doing like... um from doing like just online marketing for like just a general audience because now it gets into like politics and like what's going on in the area at the time and stuff like that because like so when we do a movie premiere like and we actually release a trailer and we advertise it locally and have like uh letting people know that the premieres this night or these three nights like come buy tickets we're gonna have like Oh, you can eat tacos and stuff. You know, like, mm -hmm. come come pay to see this movie so we can keep doing movies. <laughs> so, like, I'm starting to learn, like, uh, it's, it's definitely a lot different. It's definitely uh, a different marketing strategies for this. But that's where I want to make the bulk of the impact is selling tickets. And also, the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to be hitting Comic Cons up. We're going to be hitting anime conventions up and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We're going to have premieres there, too. So, we're going to be selling tickets. And so we're gonna have like our own movie room where we're gonna be selling tickets and stuff where people can come in and watch movies and stuff like that. So, like, so the movie going on tour. Like, <laughs> we finish it, it's going on tour. So, that's kind of like what, that's kind of like the general plan of what I'm doing now. That's so different from what I used to do, which is trying to like, let's go get these views. <laughs> and hopefully we can just ask this money. Yeah. Nah, fam. It's not. It's not like that no it's more. It's not the move. It's not the move. But that's why, like, another thing too is the marketing aspect of it. If I market a project, we sell tickets for it. Now it's like, all right, the next movie can come out next month. You know, and then now we have a monthly income. So that's mm -hmm. another reason why I want to be fast and efficient and making stuff. Cause now it's like uh, we can start doing a subscription. It's like, all right, y'all know the the movie premieres are coming like every weekend, so don't don't worry about buying tickets. Might as well just sign up for this subscription and just show up, you know. Go get the wristband, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you gotta get, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the wristbands from the fair back in the day, you know. <laughs> so like, you know, I'm doing it in a different way, um, to the point where um the business is going to I'm trying to basically make this into a regular business. The ultimate goal is that the the actors I'm working with now, um, right now we don't have the funding for them, which is why I help them get jobs on set. So it's like if mm -hmm. I can't pay you, I'll put you on set and let Disney pay you. You know, <laughs> and like we work on weekends. They don't work on weekends on set. So we Monday through when we work on set it's Monday through Friday, no weekends. They only hire for weekends if they behind schedule or something like that. No weekends, Monday through Friday, sixty hours a week. So we work like that, and it's like, all right, guys, I helped you get this money on this set. I helped you get out there, come do mm -hmm. this movie over here, and so we can make we can try to build this up as well as a business, and then from there. Um, my, one of my goals is I want to be able to hire them full time so like they'll come here clock in and we might work on scripts or we might do practice rehearsals fight scenes and stuff like that but mm -hmm. it's like actually they'll come in clock in like a regular job and then we put out content every month that's what I want to do <laughs> so it's a lot different <laughs> it's a lot different from back in the day definitely yeah <laughs> So, anyway, what do you think about the machine? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's different than what we were doing, definitely. <laughs> um, like, dang, why'd I, why'd I have to leave? <laughs>
Don't worry, man. We'll bring you back. <laughs> I'm on my own IMDb page. <laughs> hey, man. I can help you get one. Get you a demo out and stuff, you know. You, just, you trying to get in some stuff? I got you. I got you. You always got a role here, man. Episode, episode one. Episode OG. One. Yeah. Exactly, man. <laughs> All right, this video is getting too long. We got we to gotta go ahead and cut this off. Anyway, you got any final thoughts? Um, totally should have been prepared for this question. Final, the final thoughts question? Yeah. I mean, we talked about a lot, though. We talked about the whole journey of how you felt about everything. And what's the thoughts then? Final <laughs> thoughts, man. What, what, what are you going to tell the new G's? Instead of, we the old G's. What are you going to tell the new G's now? Listen to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> what? You got the plan. You got the vision. I you... got a plan. That don't mean it's a good plan. It sounds like a good plan. It sounds like a good plan. Yeah, but all we can do is try. You gonna be the next Disney? That is goal. My stuff gonna be better. <laughs> hey man, don't let me get no money. I'm trying to make Fast and Furious meets the Transformers. <laughs> I would watch that. <laughs> Vin Diesel and Optimus Prime. <laughs> now, Vin Diesel, he would technically drive Bumblebee, but he would make Bumblebee become a a, a Dodge instead of Camaro. <laughs> He's like, nah, I can't ride it, you, bro. Like, you got you to gotta change that up. <laughs> Torch World. I don't know about that now. I don't know about theme parks. Theme parks, not, probably not it. Nerd Torch, though, is going to expand into, into something more. But my final thoughts will be... Learn your craft, learn your marketing, like, and have a have a plan to make that money. Like that's that's the three things you need, man. Like right now for me, that's what I'm doing. Learning my craft, my goal for and have a goal for what you learn for your craft. My goal for learning my craft is make sure that I learn it and be efficient at it. Right now, I'm hella fast at making videos. I'm hella fast at editing. I'm hella fast at like like just pumping out stuff and i do that mm -hmm. because i want to respect people's time like when when they saw the set and stuff like that so <laughs> and for that uh the marketing stuff you, you you gotta have a plan to get the money you gotta have a way to tell people about it so my plan for getting my money right now is to sell tickets to premieres and stuff like that and i ain't even sell like like I, I, it's not just tickets too. It's like I'm selling like, like I think we I think I think our first movie premiere we're doing all you can eat tacos for like ten dollars. Like bro, like come hang out with some 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 nerdy mofos, watch an indie film, and just eat tacos and, and like hang out. Like come on now, like <laughs> it's like you ain't doing that on Saturday anyway. So come on. <laughs> you had me at tacos. I had you at taco. There you go, man. All you can eat tacos, bro. So I mean, the movie and stuff, you know, hanging out with people. Yeah. <laughs> and then you do, and then we gonna do like Q and A with the with the actors and stuff like that. You know, something cool. But like, there you go. Like, have your plan to make your money. I'm like, like I said, I'm making my money off my tickets, my my food sales and stuff like that. But then you gotta learn the way to market to put your stuff out there so people actually know that you exist and that you're doing stuff. So, yeah, those those are my final thoughts. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, we out of here. Peace. <laughs>